Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 19 of chapter 4, section 2 from the practice exam 3. Show that the equation has exactly one real root 3x plus cosine x equal to 0. First, we will show um, that there is at least one real root for 3x plus cosine x equal to 0. For this, we are going to use intermediate value theorem. So we are going to two, we are going to find out two values for which the function f of x, 3x plus cosine x is, uh, have changed a sign. For one value, it is positive. For one value, the it is opposite sign. Then uh, by intermediate value theorem, there should be a zero between the two values. So let's pick x equal to cosine pi, x equal to pi, then f of f at pi would be um, we will choose x equal to negative pi. So f at negative pi would be negative three pi plus cosine of negative pi, which is equal to negative three pi. Cosine of negative pi is same as cosine pi, which is negative one, which is obviously less than zero. Then x equal to 0, uh, which is f at 0, will be 3 times 0 plus cosine of 0, which is equal to 1, which is positive. So you notice that for negative pi, it is uh, the functional value is negative. Then when x equal to 0, the functional value is positive. This tells us by intermediate value theorem, IVT in short, um, f of x has a root between negative pi and 0. So there is at least one root. The next part is to show that it has exactly one real root. That's what the problem is asking us to do. So this part is what we are going to do by contradiction. So for the contradiction method, we will have to assume the contradiction of uh, f of x having exactly one real root. So if possible, let there be two real roots. We will call them a and b. Being roots of f of x, this means f of a equal to 0, also f of b equal to 0. So we have f of a equal to f of b, which is hypothesis 3 of Rolle's theorem. Also, f of x is a combination of a polynomial and a trig function. 3x is algebraic polynomial and then cosine x is trig. Uh, both, uh, both are continuous on the closed interval a b in this case on the interval negative pi to 0 because that is what we are taking negative pi to 0 and it is also continuous it's also differentiable um, on the interval negative pi to 0 so it satisfies all the three conditions all the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem f of a equal to f of b and also we have f of x is equal to 3x plus cosine x is continuous on the closed interval a b. This is hypothesis 1. Also f of x which is a combination of polynomial and uh, trigonometric cosine x is differentiable on the open interval a b. This hypothesis two. So we have all the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem being satisfied. By conclusion of Rolle's theorem.
that is a C. on the open interval AB such that F prime C equal to 0. So what is F prime C? Which is 3 uh, minus sin X, X replaced by C. This is equal to 0 or sin c equal to 3, which is impossible. So the maximum value of sin x is always less than or equal to 1. So we are getting a contradiction because we are assuming um, that there are two roots. So this tells us, this contradiction tells us that this contradiction is mainly due to the fact of the wrong assumption that f of x has two real roots a and b. So if the, uh, it cannot have two real roots which uh, tells us that f of x can have only one single real root. Note that we already established that f of x has at least one real root between negative pi and 0 by mean intermediate value theorem. In the second part, we are saying that it cannot have two roots uh, because it will give a, a wrong uh, information about sine c being equal to 3. So it cannot have two roots, which precisely tells us that f of x can have exactly uh, on, only one real root. Hope this video helps.